Denny Properties has been around for the last 10 years, but now you're the managing director of this 10 billion dirham in revenue per year business. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Springfield Talks. I'd like to start off by apologizing that my voice is a bit hoarse today because you were partying very hard over the last few days with my guest today. Um, you know, we have one of the top, top executives in, I think, Dubai today in our office. We have Mr. Adil Sajan, the Group Managing Director for Danube Group. Thank you, Adil, for coming here, and uh, it's a pleasure to Thank have you. Thank you, Farooq, for having me, and I'm looking forward to this. To begin with, let me just tell, give you a little bit of a background. So I know Adil for the last 30 years. We are one of the closest friends, and, uh, you know, the way he has uh, progressed within the business is definitely very inspiring, even as a friend. You know, uh, I generally don't say this, but since we are in a formal <laughs> podcast, I'll definitely say it. Adil, you have a very inspiring story, you know, heading one of the biggest business groups you know, I always like to ask, how is the pressure of being Adil Sajan? Well, of course, the pressure is a lot when you're Rizwan Sajan's son. You know, my father, he came to Dubai 30 years ago with $30,000 in his pocket. And today, touch wood, you know, by God's grace, our revenue is almost $3 billion a year. Wow. So he built this business from scratch. And being the only child, uh, the pressure is huge. But honestly, I love it. I love it a lot because I've always been given the full freedom uh, in my company to run our businesses. And I've really enjoyed all the challenges. I mean, that's great to hear. And it's great to see someone that does come from a privileged background to actually take business this seriously. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we both actually know a number of cases where, you know, billionaire kids don't take the business as forward um, as someone like yourself, you know. And I like to uh, say to our viewers actually that Adil is someone who actually takes work extremely seriously. And, you know, you, you work with a passion which is great to see as a friend and, you know, as, as someone. Who I mean, I have that. so much gratitude because I am one of the few people who has such a beautiful platform of yeah. a family business. That's true. And to be honest, from a very young age, I've been interested in business. I've really enjoyed, you know, going to work, understanding, seeing what's happening. So I think I'll be super foolish to be having a platform like this. Of course. And then not utilizing it. Of course. Of course, when we are working so hard, it's not to change our lifestyle. Uh, but it's there because, like my dad, I also have that passion in creating businesses that add value and make difference to people. That's great to hear, Adil. And now you've come at a, I think, at a pivotal time of your career where you're switching roles. You know, just um, a couple of weeks back, I say, I, mean, I think it's been a week or 10 days, you switched roles from Danube Home and you've entered into a completely different and new line of business for yourself. Of course, you guys... Denny Properties has been around for the last 10 years, but now you're the managing director of this 10 billion dirham in revenue per year business. What are your thoughts about this? Yeah, so, you know, before Danny Properties, um, I basically started the Danny Home business. Yeah. And, uh, you know, along with my team, who was super passionate, we were actually one of the fastest growing home improvement retailers in the region. We grew our revenue by 7x from 2015 to 2020. Wow. And, 7x. Uh, and barring that, I also was responsible for uh, our hospitality business, which is a one-stop solution providing supplies to hotels. We've supplied to massive hotels like Royal Atlantis, Marriott, you know, Radisson's. And within a short span of time, they've left a good mark. And a fun project also, which I started a couple of years ago, was Danube Sports World. Uh, which is the largest, you know, sports facility in the region. I know so, I'm a corporate client <laughs> and we play there every week. So one of the best sporting facilities in the UAE, 100%, yeah, yeah. definitely the best in my so, opinion. So I had a lot going on. And, you know, when I say I had the freedom to do the business the way I wanted, luckily, my dad always supported, you know, with his blessings, as long as the balance sheet was green. <laughs> That's the only thing that mattered. And touch wood, because I've always been lucky in finding the right people, empowering them. We were able to be successful in all three verticals. And my father was, you know, actually after me for the last one and a half years to join the property business. But I took that time to stabilize my other businesses, got some good senior leaders on board, promoted the other ones so that, you know, I could make that big move. I've joined uh, 10 days ago and day two at Danny Properties, you know, they, the team has made me jump from <laughs> Skydive Dubai, <laughs> launching a new project, Base 101. And honestly, wow. 
it's amazing. I'm really enjoying the move. And uh, I think one of the most important things, the first move I wanted to do was, you know, speak to the different brokers because 90% of our 10 billion sale comes from our brokers, our partners. Wow. And uh, that's the reason I'm here, you know, uh, to give a boost to the Springfield team so that they can I'm, also join I'm, along the ride. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's uh, great to see that Danube has come with its biggest project yet, you know, with you entering into the company. You know, Bayes 101, uh, 101 floors of luxury. 101 floors is going to be, I think, one of the tallest buildings yeah. in a city that already has the tallest building and like some of the most tallest buildings in the world. So how does it feel, you know, to be one of those builders that is actually uh, helping to boost the skyline of a city that is already amazing? I mean, it's a dream come true. And, uh, you know, this will be probably the fifth largest tower uh, in Dubai. Wow. So 101 floors is a lot. And, and, and you know, it, it really feels uh, special because at Danube, we've always believed in delivering luxury, making sure that we're giving affordable luxury at the same time. And this project is special because it is by far the best project we've launched at Danube Property. So many, many reasons. One, of course, it's 101 floors. Second, it's in Business Bay. And in a very, very prime location in Business Bay, probably two minutes away from Burj Khalifa. And generally, you know, in every building you'll have that, look, this is a view and this is not view. But the beauty of this building is you have a 360 degree view. On one side, you have Burj Khalifa. On the other side, you have the skyline view. On the third side, you have the canal view. So no matter which part of the building you're buying a unit, you'll be having a view everywhere. You know, today is day four after the launch. And already, uh, you know, the, the traction has been fantastic. We've already sold 300 units wow. Uh, wow. In, in a span of four days. And I, I think it's a good project. It makes us proud. And another good thing about this project is our payment plan. So, you know, we were the first company to launch our 1% payment plan. But we've taken it a level higher because this one is going to be stretched over 80 months. So it's, it, it makes it a lot more easier for investors to be buying a unit. And thirdly, um, you know, the unit is power packed with amenities. There are 40 plus amenities in this building. You have things like a golf simulator, you know, a bowling alley, you know, infinity pool on the 55th floor, uh, you know, spa, salon, library, even the lobby, the way it's been designed, it looks Beautiful. like a hotel lobby. I saw there was a piano placed right in the center, yeah. was like white and black marble happening. So uh, even the elevator lobby looked very, very nice. Today. Yeah, they're, they're almost uh, 14 <laughs> elevators and uh, we are we ensured that the finishing of this project is, you know, really, really nice. I've been personally involved myself in designing the interiors. And what we've done this time is we've actually uh, inspired the furniture with a very high-end designer brand. So this kind of furniture is elevated, the kind of wall panels being used, our bathroom fittings are from Casa Milano. So I would really recommend people come into Danny Property Office, of course, along with Springfield Real Estate Brokers, and see our show apartment, because that's when you're going to see, uh, you know, what we're talking about. Wow, wow. This is very nice and very interesting, because I've seen the way, you know, the tower and the renders, they look stunning. And, you know, the one thing that I have to uh, compliment Danny Properties as a group is, the way you guys have grown in just the last few years, of yes. course, Daniel Properties has been around. Daniel Group has been around for over 30 years, but it's the last couple of years how Daniel Properties has become such a strong name. And for our viewers to know that the sale is at 10 billion dirhams and they're the third top developers that have sold the third highest number of units in all of Dubai and you're competing with government-backed developers. And that's a huge number. And it just shows that people have that trust in the group because it's not possible to sell that much inventory or that many units if there's no trust. So, you know, that's a very, very good point you brought up. And, uh, you know, I have to give a lot of credit to the entire Danny Properties team and also my father. My father uh, joined the property business full time, uh, you know, two years ago, yeah. uh, two and a half years ago. And he's left all the other businesses and he's focusing only on Danny Properties. In fact, he's working six days a week you know, till 9 p.m. every day, wow. interacting with the customers himself every day he goes to the floor. That is one thing, you know, which I think sets Danube yeah. and sets you and your father yeah. apart yeah. is the accessibility. Yeah, for sure. You know, there are so I mean, many times. I have walked into your office so many times <laughs> and your dad is just standing, meeting somebody yeah. or, you know, I don't know, talking to a customer or, I don't know, helping a client uh, buy a unit, which is like, I'm like, okay, this is guy's the chairman of the group, but he's 
he's he's in the trenches and if any time anyone complains about a small thing you know honestly that person a lot of people have been fired also because of that he is very very hands on and you know at the end of the day customers also feel happy that look i have access directly to of the course, chairman of course they come with the intention of buying one unit after meeting the chairman they end up with three wow <laughs> so he's also like a top sales person <laughs> in the company but but you know that's that's the beauty of it and talking about the credibility part all our businesses the most important thing that we always harp about is customer trust and customer credibility whether it's our sports business our retail business our building retail business or property customer excellence is something we genuinely strive for and if anything goes to my office or the chairman's office where something you know absurd has happened and it's not been taken care of the way it should have been yeah. you know trust me i it, it, it becomes you somebody know gonna, some, somebody, somebody gonna somebody somebody gonna get a fire today <laughs> <laughs> no, but but it is it is and you know credibility is what what has made us what we are today and and we will always strive to ensure that we are able to provide that kind of quality that kind of credibility you know talking about even our projects because we're coming from the building material background we know who are the best contractors we don't compromise on the contractors we ensure that not only are the projects delivered either on time or before time but the quality of construction is at par or even better than what we provided because that's what creates a sustainable company of course so this is something that's very very important to us no i'm very excited you know to have done this with you today i think you know we definitely have to have another podcast but this time we have to go into the business side of things because there's one question i always think about because as a businessman yeah. myself i always you know learn and look up to sure. you know very successful business people like yourself and i always think that you know you guys are obviously it's a family run business yes. but managing these many people yeah. i mean the number of employees you have yeah. i mean across your different verticals being present in i believe um, you know multiple countries sure. you know you know you guys are a global group now your business isn't just defined to the you know uh, to the emirates or to yes. the united arab emirates you know it's become global now so managing those many business verticals you know how what's the secret to good management so you're right farooq we are actually now present in over 40 countries 40 across 40 countries across wow. all our, across all our businesses okay and, and you know danube home how many branches because i know it's a big number as well so no? danube talking about danube home we have 20 branches in the wow. gcc wow. but and i also big box Concepts. All big box retail. So our average store size is about sixty thousand square feet. Our flagship is a hundred. Wow. We're opening now one in Qatar next year, inshallah, wow. which is going to be double the size of a flagship, almost one eighty thousand square feet. Wow, one hundred eighty thousand square feet. So that's that's going to that's something it's I'm looking huge. forward to. And barring the stores in GCC, we are present in about eight countries uh, through our franchise route. Wow. So okay. you know, it was always if you see Dubai, you go to the Dubai Mall. All the brands of the world come to Dubai. But it was my vision. How do I take Dubai to the world? Yeah. And with that, we've started a franchise uh, business. So we're also present in about eight countries in the franchise wow. business. Wow, wow, yeah. wow! So that just shows, and I think I think it builds on the credibility because we're seeing a lot of international money coming to Dubai, and I think Danube touches people in forty plus countries. Yeah. So those people they know that this is the Dubai bread, Dubai grown yeah. brand, yeah. and I think that's the reason why you know we're seeing a lot of international buyers coming in and trusting the group. a uh, name because of the credibility that you know or the brand equity that you have built over 30 years and talking about the secret sauce you know uh, how we have done this and you know created this talking about the credibility i think one thing which we have uh, focus across all our verticals is it's not just it is a family run business but we have really worked hard in finding the best of talent after finding the best of talent you know of course uh, the top management is compensated you know in a, in a in a very generous manner but the beauty of this is If you meet any of the leaders, whether it's Danube Home, it's building materials, it's you know a property business, they are running the business or as employees, but as entrepreneurs. Yeah. Which means that you know it's as if they're running their own business. They're probably as passionate, if not more passionate than you. Yeah. Uh, so that's the kind of freedom, delegation, empowerment we've given these people, and then they create their leaders below. So that's the only way. If you want to scale of your course. business, the only way you can do it is get the best people. empower them delegate them and compensate compensate them in a in a very generous manner so that when they grow uh, you grow along with them of course and i think that's a secret to how just one person can manage such a huge team and you know can take the business 
forward like you guys have. Yeah. And um, Adil, we're very excited. And thank you for coming over here. I think it was a very interesting conversation. We're very excited about your next project as well. And I hope to see you soon for another podcast. And congratulations also to the entire Springfield team. I think so under your leadership, Springfield today has become one of the top brokerage companies. I saw an article where I think you were the top 40 uh, company. So congrats to your team. Thank you so keep much. Keep shining, keep rising, and hopefully we rise together. Thank you so much. Thank Adil. you. Thank you so much for doing this. Take care.